Europe is going to matter less and less. The world is going to become less and less familiar because it's going to become less and less Western. And in particular, it's going to become more and more influenced by China. That is so different from anything we've had over the last 200 years. This is a huge historical change. The story of this era is the rise of China and China is going to uh, shape the next century. If you're asking me what will happen in 200 years time or 300 years time, you know, that's another story I don't know because it's too far ahead. But uh, you know, the Chinese economy will overtake the American economy in size around about 2018. Uh, by 2050 the Chinese economy will probably about, be about two and a half size two and a half times the size of the American economy. Imagine that. Um, by uh, 2030, some estimates suggest that the Chinese economy will account for one third of global outfall, one third of global GDP. And we've got a, you know, that, that much bigger than that of the United States. So, you know, we, we shouldn't fantasize about other continents because that lies too far in the future. Uh, I'm not saying that China will be uh, dominant forever because nothing is forever. You know, we've assumed so long that Western dominance is forever. It is not forever. Well, I think that Europe is going to face some very, very difficult questions about what it wants to be. I mean, the first question it's got to confront is, you know, is a question it's not really confronting because it's always looking inwards. I mean, Europe's looked in inwards for so long. In fact, Europe's been looking inwards in many ways for a very, very long space of time because so much of the great colonial expansion and global expansion of Europe was actually about intra-European rivalry as well as expanding outwards. But now it's, uh, it, it's, it's become very, very introverted. I mean, the whole kind of preoccupation with the European Union is a form of introversion. And uh, as a result, I think it's lost contact. It doesn't have any longer a map of the world. It does not ha know what is happening in the world. It is not interested in China, really. It is not curious about China. So, you know, where is Europe? But in the lay-by of history is what's happening. Or as a friend of mine in Shanghai who happens to be English said, um, Europe is sleepwalking its way into oblivion. And, you know, these are, these, are, these are harsh home truths. Now, the first thing we have to do is to get out of this stupor and get real about the real world. I mean, I did a meeting last night and, you know, in, in Amsterdam, and it, I was struck by how many of the audience still were in this mindset, really, you know, they're quite shocking, uh, they're quite shocked, really, uh, by trying to come to terms with what's happening, and they got all these prejudices about China. They know nothing about China, nothing. But, you know, they've got all these kind of things, well, China's this and China's that and so on. You know, get real. We've got to live in this world. This is what it's going to be like. So Europe's got to go through this kind of paradigm shift. And how is it going to get on? Well, first of all, let's see if we can do the paradigm shift. If we can't do the paradigm shift, then our decline will be hastened because we won't even know what we're dealing with.